detergent. What is detergent? Eh? A detergent is a compound or mixture of compounds intended to assist cleaning. So from here, okay, we learn that. So detergents uh, is to is to means to clean something. Yeah, is to clean something. Examples of detergents are sodium alkyl sulfate and a sodium alkyl benzene sulfonate. For example, this is sodium alkyl sulfate. Huh? Sodium alkyl sulfate, and this is sodium alkyl benzene sulfonate. The first times, uh, the first times you see this structure, and you see this name, okay. Uh, for some students, okay, this looks like this is a very very hard things, right? Because you've never seen these things before, eh? It looks like it's a very complicated, okay? Go immediately ask. Need to memorize or not? Uh, yes, you need to memorize, okay? But actually, it is just a very easy to re remember, okay? First, you must know what is alkyl. You need to know what is alkyl, eh? Alkyl is a long carbon chain. Yeah, alkyl is a long carbon chain. Let me show you. We, we have alkyl in soup as well, okay? Uh, okay, this one. Uh, this is alkyl. The hydrophobic part is the alkyl. The long carbon chain, uh, this long carbon chain is alkyl. So you need to know what is alkyl, uh, okay? So generally, because we don't want to draw this long chain again and again, okay? So we use uh, symbol R to represent alkyl. So we have alkyl here and we have sodium. Sodium ions, eh? sodium ion here. So we have sodium and we have alkyl eh? and we have sulfate. Sulfate. Okay. Now, uh, maybe you so far, I, I, I guess you already uh, learned sulfate. Eh? Okay. In, since, since in form four, but maybe you still don't know the, the, the structural formulas of sulfate. Eh? SO4, two negative, right? SO4, two negative. Okay. So this is SO4. One sulfur with six uh, covalent bond, eh, okay, uh, attached to four oxygens. So one sulfur, four oxygens, okay. And for sulfur, uh, sulfate, it ha the charge is two negative, two negative. Uh, one negative is here, okay. One negative is from this oxygen, another negative from this oxygen. But in this case, because this oxygen is already attached to the alkyl, eh, so there's no charge here. There's no charge here, okay. But anyway, this one is still still sulfate, eh? still sulfate. So, so we have sodium, we have sulfate, and then we have alkyl. We have alkyl. Um, this structure, sulfate with alkyl. This structure is called alkyl sulfate. Now, alkyl is a general name. Eh? It's general. Depends on uh, how many carbons. Eh? Okay. Some. Uh, let's say if we have uh, seventeen carbons, then it's called stereo. Uh, this alkyl is just a general name. It can be alkyl it can be linoleal okay there's a lot of name for this alkyl depends on the number of carbons and depends on uh, whether it's a saturated or unsaturated and where is the double bonds uh? there's a lot of name for this alkyl eh? so now now we know why this is named sodium alkyl sulfate okay because it has sodium ion uh, an alkyl long carbon chain and a sulfate so this is sodium alkyl sulfate and it's a detergent, okay? This one, sodium alkyl, no problems, right? Okay. Then we have benzene. Benzene, okay. Now, this structure, the beehive structure with a hole inside, okay? This thing is called benzene. This thing is called benzene, huh? okay? What is this exactly? What is this benzene exactly? Okay. Now, benzene actually is uh, something like this one carbon, two carbon, three, four five six okay double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond and then uh, with one hydrogens attached to the carbon okay so this is benzene okay this is benzene and the symbol for the benzene is this <coughs> this is a symbol for the benzene okay each Wool tax here, okay, represents one carbons, uh, one carbons, two carbons, three, four, five, six carbons, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And it also represents the hydrogens, okay, this hy hydrogen here is not drawn, uh, okay, we do not draw the hydrogens. Uh. And then what is this circle? This circle represents a double bond, uh, we have three double bonds, so this circle represents a double bond. So this is benzene, yeah, benzene. Okay, so let's go back to the slide. So we have a benzene here, 
yeah, benzene, sodium, alkyl, benzene. Now, then we have this SO3 negative. Now, SO4 is sulfate, eh? okay? This SO3 is sulfonate. This SO3 is sulfonate. So we have sodium, alkyl, benzene, sulfonate. This structure, this structure is called alkyl benzene sulfonate. Again, benzene is just a general name, okay? Yep. It can be a steril, a linoleal. Eh? So this is the two examples of detergents that we need to know. Eh? Can, can we use um, ions other than sodium? Uh, the answer is yes. You can use sodium. You can use uh, potassium. You can use ammonium. Okay. This is a salt. Okay. As long as this salt is soluble in water, then it's okay. Then it's okay, but usually we use sodium, use, use sodium hydroxide is because uh, the solubility is very high, and then uh, sodium this so, uh, sodium hydroxide is quite cheap, so usually we use sodium. Eh? But for some more expensive detergents, they may use a uh, potassium or uh, ammonium. But anyway, it's a very good question. Okay, we can use uh, other than sodium. Eh? Okay, we can use potassium. Usually, it's pot potassium or uh, ammonium eh? to make detergents. Example. Um, so we have okay this one sodium, sodium stereol, stereol. I think there's no, no R here. Okay, stereol, sodium stereol. So stereol is the carbon chains, saturated carbon chain with seventeen carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Um, something wrong. I think it should be seventeen. Eh? Okay, so it's seventeen carbons. Eh? stereol. So we have a sodium. This thing is called stereo, okay? The general name is alkyl, eh? okay? But this one is called stereo. So sodium, stereo, sulfate. Or uh, this one, we have sodium, stereo, benzene, sulfonate. Sodium, stereo, benzene, sulfonate. So these are two examples of detergents. Cleaning actions of detergents. Like the ion of soap, detergent ion consists of two parts as well, the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic part. So therefore, detergent can also act as emulsifying agent and wetting agents as soap in cleaning actions. Let's see this one. Huh? Uh, let's see this one first, okay? So when uh, this soap molecule dissolves in uh, water, this is a salt actually, yeah? a soap is a salt, huh? okay? Uh, but this is not so this is a detergent detergent is also the salt okay so when this salt dissolve in water then um it will ionize okay to form this the the sodium is uh separated uh, from this uh, big molecule and then from here we can see that we have a long carbon chain uh, this long carbon chain now this long carbon chain is Hydrophilic or hydrophobic? It's hydrophobic. Eh? So this long carbon chain, it, it, it does not like water. Hydro means water. Hydro means water. Phobic uh, comes from the word phobia. Hydrophobic means it don't like water. Okay, And then we have this uh, sulfate here, okay, which is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. Eh? So you see, it's like soup, okay? It has a hydrophobic part and it has a hydrophilic part, and therefore, uh, it can act as wetting agent and it can act, uh, it can act as an emulsifying agent like soap, okay? So it, it presents the same cleaning actions as soap. Huh? For this, the sodium stereo benzene sulfonate is also the same, okay? So after ionize, then so you will form these ions, then we have a hydrophilic part. And then we have a hydrophobic part. So therefore it can act uh, as a this a wetting agent and emulsifying agents, okay? The cleansing effect is uh, almost the same as uh, water.